the students call her Mo. Maureen Malloy has been taking action photos inside the Stokes Center since the building opened in the early 1970s. I started coming to the games and sitting in the stands and when, let's say, a student was ready to hit a thousand point, I would always bring my camera and sit behind the bench and take, try to get that shot. Eventually, the athletic department invited her onto the floor. Mo became the official red flash photographer, but more importantly, she created a lasting memory for the student athletes. I had one soccer player said she never had any pictures taken of her even when she was in high school. And I gave her pictures and he thought I gave her a million dollars. One of Mo's favorite memories is the 1990-91 men's basketball team that went on to the NCAA tournament. She paged through the albums and every photo told a different story. Well, as you know, it was Joe Anderson, um, Mike Cazzolino, uh, John Hilvert and Tom Benich were the seniors that year, and they just were shooting for it. We had, a, had to have a playing game with Fordham that year, and this place was rocking. Uh, it was so loud you couldn't hear yourself think. And when they won the tournament, uh, everybody had um, streamers, and they threw red and white streamers, and it was fantastic feeling. That dream season continued on in Utah, where St. Francis battled Arizona in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. It was a beautiful experience. We did some touring while we were out there, but just being in that gym, sitting on the floor, it was like, wow. And we didn't have a band at the time, so I believe it was the St. Joe's band, took us under their wing. Somebody made them t-shirts and said St. Francis on them, and they played for us. And we were the underdog, but the uh, team's fans from the other squads were yelling for us. The photos are a wonderful treasure, but so too is Mo. She's had a front row seat to the Red Flash for nearly 50 years, and she still gets a big hug from her kids when they come back to campus. I probably have 200,000 pictures in my house. <laughs> They're in albums, they're either in the closets, under beds, every place I can put them because there's that many. So it's like you walk in the door and they look and go, oh my, you are still here, right? But like I said, I love my kids. They, I call them my kids and they know that. So.